Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In a little bit of a break from the usual content I film here on the channel, I just want to take a moment in the day to fangirl about a product that's honestly made my skin so, so smooth. This moisturizer is kind of giving me that plump, dewy complexion that I think sometimes we can lose in those cooler winter months when dryness takes over. A couple of months ago, I spoke about different humectants and how whilst we all reach and gravitate towards hyaluronic acid, actually there are some better humectants on the market when it comes to locking in and retaining moisture in the skin. My approach is to use multiple different humectants in my skincare routine to kind of harness the benefit of all of them. Thankfully, there is a product that I've discovered that kind of does that all for us, demystifies things and is super affordable at just six pounds. So let me introduce you to this. This is the Ultraist Dermatologist Moisturizing Fluid. Now I used this about a year ago for the first time but I wasn't very consistent with it in my skincare routine. I repurchased it and started putting it through its paces on a more consistent basis and my skin has fallen in love. So in this video I want to share with you why I think this little gem is such such a superstar in your skincare routine who could benefit from it, and ultimately why I think there's a place for this in everyone's skincare routine. This video isn't sponsored, I don't do sponsored content here on Mad About Skin, but you guys know I'm never afraid to fangirl when a product really captures my heart. So sit back, relax, let's talk my new holy grail moisturizer. So when it comes to choosing the right moisturizer for your skincare routine, gone are the days when we just go to the drugstore and pick up any old moisturizer on the shelf. We now have a baffling array of different choices. We've got different formulations, different finishes on the skin, different key ingredients. It can be it's really difficult to choose the right one for you. However, when I think a couple of rules I always stick to when it comes to moisturizers for my own skincare routine is I make sure I choose one that is the right level of occlusivity thickness to match my individual skin's needs. If you're drier skinned, go for something thicker. If like me, you've got a more oily complexion, go for something more lightweight and breathable on the skin. I also always make sure I don't overpay for my moisturizer. I know brands and celebrities would want us reaching for the La Mer and the bougie luxury options on the market. It, but you know what, moisturizers aren't formulated with a lot of ingredients that need to cost the earth. So reach for something that's super affordable and invest your hard-earned coin in the serum steps of your skincare routine, which is where I think paying a little more will get you a little bit more. Finally, when it comes to moisturizers, take a look at the key humectants used within them. Don't just reach for the one that's packed full of hyaluronic acid, because too much of that ingredient can actually cause irritation and dryness in the skin, the opposite things we kind of reach for a moisturizer for. Look for other humectants alongside that hyaluronic acid things such as urea, glycerin, beta-glucan, centella, things that are really going to help to work together in synergy with the skin to retain in and lock in all that moisture. Fortunately, Ultraist in this absolute wonder of a product have kind of taken a lot of the mystery out of it and I want to explain very briefly why I think this is so so special and then I'm going to come on to the results that I got with it. So let's start off with the formulation. So you have a small amount of hyaluronic acid in here. In fact, it's said that front and center 0.5%. That's roughly a quarter of the concentration of hyaluronic acid that you would get in traditional moisturizers and serums. Take, for example, the ordinary hyaluronic acid, which is formulated with a 2% concentration. I think that's just a little bit too much for most people's skin type. If you use too much hyaluronic acid, like I said, it can trigger sensitivity and irritation. So something in a 0.5% concentration is perfect to get all that plumping, that water retention, but minimizing the risk of any side effects. Alongside that hyaluronic acid though, you have two other key humectants. You've got glycerin, which honestly is like my favorite humectant out there. It's able to penetrate the skin easier than hyaluronic acid, so you kind of get more bang for your buck with it. It's also better tolerated by the skin, so you can use it in higher concentrations without risking side effects and irritation. Alongside that hyaluronic acid and glycerin, you've also got urea, which is the third humectant in here. Urea is like the unsung hero in the skincare world. It's getting a lot more love now than it used to do, but for some reason, brands were just so reluctant to formulate with it. Urea, again, is really well tolerated by most skin types. You don't need a ridiculously high concentration to get some amazing results. And whilst it acts like a humectant to draw in and retain moisture within itself, it's also great for boosting the barrier function of the skin. And it also softens the proteins in our skin to give that baby softness that I think we all crave. And again, we can lose when it comes to those cooler winter months. Alongside those fabulous trio of humectants, in here you've also got some shea butter which is going to deeply nourish the skin and you've got some panthenol which is a wonderful B vitamin to calm and soothe. This is super lightweight, 
but don't let that deceive you. Even though it's lightweight, it packs a punch when it comes to moisturization. And that's because I think this is so well formulated to take the most lightweight humectants and hydrators on the market, formulate them all together. So you get a level of hydration from a product that really you shouldn't based on just how lightweight it actually feels. So let's come on to like my experiences with this and why I'm just so keen to fangirl about it in today's video. So the second you put this on the skin, it's like instant relief. My skin isn't usually prone to sensitivity, but in the cooler winter months, particularly if you know I've been out walking the dog, it's been particularly windy, my skin will get a little bit redness prone, a little bit more sensitive than usual. Panthenol is like a holy grail for dialing all of that down. Like I said, it's a B vitamin, it's clinically proven to reduce inflammation in the skin, and that irritation can be gone in a second with a couple of applications of this. It's a buildable product, so on my skin, which is super oily, you really only need one layer of it. But if you've got a much drier skin type, put one layer on, wait for it to sink in for like 30 seconds, then apply another one on top to kind of double down on the benefits. Beyond just the calming and soothing, you get that instant softness to the skin. Honestly, you can't stop touching your skin. And whilst we absolutely shouldn't be touching our skin all day long, I know that's a huge, huge no-no in skincare. This kind of makes you want to do that. The skin is so, so soft and hydrated, but it feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing. And again, that comes back to that formulation, delivering meaningful hydration in a super lightweight finish on the skin. I think for me, you get those short-term benefits, which is going to be that glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and panthenol, which is going to plump out the skin, because humectants draw in like a sponge, and then they plump themselves out. So you get a very temporary removal of any fine lines and wrinkles, a more plumpy, dewy complexion. However, you've also got some long-term benefits with that shea butter, which is going to lock in moisture and nourish the skin, and also that urea, which over time, if used consistently, improves the barrier function of the skin, and will absolutely deliver you some wonderful softening benefits to the protein and the upper layers, which again is giving that baby soft results. This for me, for six pounds, honestly, can we ask for more? You know, I know the cost of living is going up, up and up at the moment, which means a lot of people are looking to streamline and reduce the cost of their skincare routine. When you can have a product like this that acts as a moisturizer and a hyaluronic acid serum and a calming serum, all in one, like a three in one for six pounds. Honestly, I don't think we can go wrong. This is gonna work for just about all skin types. Like I say, if you're more on the dryness prone side of things, you're probably gonna to want to use multiple layers of this. However, for everyone else, I think you can definitely get away with one thin layer on the skin and really reap the benefits of the hydration you're gonna get. For me, I use this every single morning. It's like a fail-safe go-to moisturizer that my skin just loves. On an evening, I still use this, which is the Mad About Skin Maximum Impact Moisturizer, which is my own moisturizer that I created last year. The reason I tend to switch to this in the evening is it's just a little bit thicker and more occlusive than the Ultraist. You've still got a great combination of humectants in here, such as glycerin. You've also got panthenol to calm and soothe, and you've got that dose of urea, which I like to use morning and evening to maintain that softness. But you've also got some oils and some additional moisturizers in here. So this is a little bit more thick and heavy duty than the Ultraist one. So I save this for the evening when my skin needs a little extra TLC and this for the morning for that super lightweight finish. And the best thing is you can put concealer, foundation, any makeup on the top of it and it just sits beautifully. I would say if you're in the market for a new moisturizer, you want something that's super affordable, a little goes such a long way, yet delivers you multiple benefits, this is kind of where it's at. I've linked it in the description box below because Ultraist is still quite difficult to get outside of the UK and Europe, but there are some international sellers now. So I've listed a whole suite of different places you can get it if you do want to stock up. I know your skin will love this as much as mine does. As I said, not sponsored, but when, you know, when I get it in my mind to fangirl and adore a product, I of course want to share it with you guys, especially when it's as drugstore and affordable as this. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions if you've tried this product. Sound off in the comments section below, and wherever you are in the world, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.